Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Pepcast. In this video, I will show you the steps to create a parity storage space in Windows Server 2016. Parity storage space layout is a striped set of distributed parity similar to RED5. This configuration protects data from a single disk failures. It requires a minimum of 3 disks to operate. Without minimum 3 disks in storage pool, you are not able to create parity storage space. So let's open SOM Manager and on SOM Manager dashboard, let's click on File and Storage Services. Let's click on Storage Pool. And here we have an existing storage pool in our Windows Server 2016 named Test Pool 1. Here you can see we have two hard disks in our Test Pool 1. And let's try to create parity storage space layout by selecting Storage Pool, right click on it and select New Virtual Disk. Select Storage Pool, click on OK, click on Next, specify the name with disk 3, click on Next, Next again. And if we select Parity and then if you click on Next button, you will receive an error. The storage pool does not contain enough physical disk to support the selected storage layout. Select a different layout. So if you want to create a parity storage space layout, you require a minimum of 3 disks in your storage pool. Let's cancel it. And for this, we have to add another hard disk to our storage pool. That means we have to extend our storage pool. Let's select our storage pool, right click on it and select add physical disk. Now for this demonstration, I have attached one hard disk with 200 GB capacity on this system. Let's click on OK. OK, here we go. Now you can see a total size 598 GB. And now we have a total 3 hard disk in our storage pool. And now let's try to create parity storage space. Right click on your storage pool. Select new virtual disk. Select storage pool. Click on OK. Click on next. And here you have to specify the name of your virtual disk which you want to create. For this demonstration, I'm going to give name vdisk3 hyphen parity. Let's click on next. Next again. And select parity layout. Click on next. Here you have an options to select provisioning type. For this demonstration, I'm going to select thin provisioning. Click on next. Now here you have to specify the size. For this demonstration, I'm going to give the size 100 GB. Let's click on next. And let's click on create to create new virtual disk with parity storage space layout. And that's it. Let's click on close. Okay, now here we have another virtual disk named with disk 3 hyphen parity. And as you can see, the layout of that virtual disk is parity. Remember, at least three disks are required to create a resilient stripe set with distributed parity virtual disk. A parity space reassemble a simple space because data is written across multiple disks. However, parity information is also written across the disk when you use parity storage layout. The parity information can be used to calculate data if disk is lost. So after creating virtual disk with parity layout, our next step is to create a volume on it. So let's select our virtual disk with parity layout, right click on it and select new volume. Let's click on next. Now select our disk that is a disk 6 for vdisk hyphen parity. Next. Now we want to use the maximum size available on our virtual disk. That's why I'm not going to specify the custom size. Let's click on next. Here, I'm going to select travel letter P for parity. Let's click on next. Here, I'm going to select REFS file system. To format this volume, let's click on next and let's click on create to create a new volume on our VDisk 3 virtual disk. 
and that's it. Let's click on close and let's open file explorer. Under file explorer, click on this PC and here you can see our volume which we created on our parity storage space. So that concludes the video demonstration on how to create parity storage space in Windows Server 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.